Who is the leading entrepreneur in the sector of electronic vehicles? The answer is simple. Isn't it Tesla? After all, they own almost 79% of the market share. But unfortunately, President Biden doesn't think so and has decided not to recognize Elon Musk's contributions. Elon Musk has just exposed Joe Biden's corruption. Do you want to find out why? Well, stay tuned and find out. Elon Musk is the CEO and founder of Tesla, which produces electronic vehicles. The whole world knows this is the success the company has achieved that the whole world knows about. Elon Musk, who started with a dream, has become the wealthiest person in the world. President Joe Biden held a summit for electronic vehicles and didn't invite Elon Musk, the man who is the poster boy for all things electronic vehicles related. Elon Musk was not happy about it all. How did he reveal Joe Biden's corruption? Find out all of it in this video? Then Elon Musk and his company SpaceX launched Bob Hines, Jessica Watkins, Kjell Lindgren, and Samantha Cristoforetti, the Italian astronaut from the European Space Agency, into space in September of 2021. The same was streamed live, where the astronauts gave a tour of the Dragon's resilience and the spacecraft on which they traveled into outer space. This was used by SpaceX to raise more than $200 million for a charity to help benefit childhood cancer research by the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. While Tesla has been knocking on the door of President Joe Biden, he has not budged from his position against the Tesla company. Twitter user at Rehensing echoed by his tweet the sentiments of many by questioning why there was no recognition given to the charity donation made to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital by the president or his office. Elon Musk can hold back at all. He replied that it seems the president is sleeping. This was a nod to the Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, saying in a video that President Biden was, quote, dropped his head in agreement. President Biden has recently come up with a deal where he proposes that electronic vehicles tax credits will be distributed to union factories unequally. Tesla is not part of these union factories at all. One may easily argue that there is no need for a company the size of Tesla that doesn't need the government to help them in its operations. However, such an exclusion looks pretty irregular. Yet Biden is making these decisions arbitrarily, and the transparency behind these decisions is also questionable. Joe Biden does not at all recognize the contribution that Elon Musk has made to electronic vehicles, considering Elon is someone who doesn't shy away from confrontation at all. And in his time on Twitter, Elon has gone after anyone who has not recognized his efforts or become an obstacle in his path. It all started on the 5th of August 2021, when the president hosted an electronic vehicle summit. He has long been an advocate of fighting against global warming, so to show his efforts towards the same, he invited many influential individuals from the field to attend the summit. Tesla produced 10 times more electronic vehicles than its closest competitors and yet was not one of the names on the invite list. Elon Musk soon went to Twitter and posted a tweet stating that he found it odd that Tesla was not invited. President Biden has recently come up with a deal where he proposes that electronic vehicles tax credits will be distributed to union factories unequally. Tesla is not part of these union factories at all. One may easily argue that there is any need for a company like the size of Tesla that doesn't actually need the government to help them in its operations. However, such an exclusion looks pretty irregular. Yet Biden is making these decisions arbitrarily, and the transparency behind these decisions is also questionable. He also credited in the summit that Mary Barra, the CEO of General Motors, has been instrumental in the evolution of electric vehicles. Mary Barra is the first ever woman who has become the CEO of the Big Three automaker. An exclusive group consisting of General Motors, Ford and Chrysler, whose hegemony is being put to the test by the Elon Musk empire. He referenced a Zoom meeting that he claimed that it included significant business leaders and many labor union representatives. They discussed electronic vehicles, Yet why Elon Musk was not invited was very questionable and baffling. If you know about Elon Musk and his style well, then you also know that he will not be sitting leg cross taking this insult, and it wasn't long before he sprung into action. He explained that unions here at play are pulling the strings of the presidents. According to him, Biden's administration will act in line 
with the wishes of unions that influence their decisions. Hence, he has to praise the companies like General Motors and Ford and credit them with helping the revolution in the automobile industry of electric vehicles. He called the Biden administration not one of the friendliest of administrations. It is not a secret that any political leader in the U.S. has to bow down to the demands of lobbyists and unions. This is because they are used to impact political leaders by offering funding for elections and other mass campaigns made to the mass public. These companies, such as General Motors and Ford Motors, have been using lobbyists for a long time to help create favorable decision-making from the political administration in the country. Union for Auto Workers, known for short UAW, is one of the biggest automobile workers' unions in the country and a favorite of the government. They charge 1.44% of their members' salary as the membership fee. It makes for a significant contribution from their members to help the growth of the union. Recently, a federal investigation has turned up where 12 UAW officials, including four former union presidents and three Fiat Chrysler employees, have pleaded guilty to various charges. In one of his tweets, Elon Musk claimed that his company has no issues with voting into union any day as workers. However, in the same breath, he tweeted that they require union dues and deny stock options for pointless reasons. He claimed that Tesla had a better than when the plant became UAW, and everybody in the plant already had health care. The union, despite everything, still controlled the government because of their membership. Biden has also backed a form of tax on individuals earning billions on their unrealized investment gains. This means that those capital gains on stocks have not been sold to the general public. The rise in their value helps the billionaires earn more due to the growth in the company. It has been dubbed the billionaire tax. However, Elon Musk has been publicly speaking against this form of tax, even proposed that he would sell 10% of his stock in response. Biden has also gone on to say that General Motors caused the electric vehicles revolution single-headedly, when it was actually part of the legacy car manufacturers who ever reluctant to enter the market until Tesla took off. Tesla released its first model, the original Roadster, in 2010 to the latest in 2017, Model S played. It is almost as if in Biden's world, Musk has never existed. Or else he has probably confused Elon Musk's contribution for that of General Motors CEO Mary Barra. He explains at the summit that General Motors has been the face of electric motors and that Barra was responsible for electrifying the whole automobile industry. He also recalls how she has promised him that General Motors will be a 100% electrified by the end of 2035. GM was one of the pioneers of electric cars when it released its EV1. Still, suppliers stopped making replacement parts, which compelled GM to stop the trial. Many people who owned the EV1 did so because they enjoyed it, so it was understandable that they were outraged when GM ended their leases and began killing them in 2002. In the decades that followed, the conspiracy theories associated with the project grew out of their sense of betrayal. Kamala Harris, the United States Vice President, made her opinions known in her tweet right after the summit. In the tweet, she mentioned that the bipartisan infrastructure law that the Democrats have brought will help manufacturers. They will be able to build electric vehicles. Other parts required in the electric vehicles will be made in the United States and not other countries. Almost a stamp that the electric revolution is not heard, but just beginning brought in by this bill almost as if it is an attempt to claim that no company has been able to do a lot in terms of involving electronic vehicles. This law will enable these companies to do so and bring electronic vehicles revolution to the country. Users of Twitter were quick to notice that the cars made by Tesla were mainly made from parts produced in the United States compared to the legacy car manufacturers. A recent comparison found that more than one-third of Tesla cars were produced in America. In contrast, legacy car manufacturers only made one-fifth or lesser in America. Well, that is it from us folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get quality content. Press the bell icon to get express updates about our latest videos.